Dude, doesn't that rip? You're an idiot. No, you're an idiot. You ready? Yeah. Pons, we're good? Hell yeah. Three, two, one. Welcome back, you sexy little babies. It's the oh. You're an Idiot podcast. I'm Alex Dragovich with my co-host, Jeffrey Osman. Did that make anyone else's skin crawl? I sexy mean, that, little you didn't, babies. You didn't feel bad saying that at all. That felt natural to you. Welcome back, felt babies. Felt like, is that your hentai search? No, no, no. Yeah, no, you, no. Haven't d- you haven't babes. dipped back into the hentai after uh, your little... No, after, after you publicly humiliated me. You mentioned it, and then I said the truth. Who are you to did. kink shame, by the way? I'm not kink. Sh- I think that's illegal what you watched. No, it wasn't. You said dude. it was a high school I, swimming locker oh, room. It could have been college. We don't <laughs> you, know. You said high we school. We don't know what it was. He hoped dude. it was high school. I hope it was college. Technically, I guess hentai can't be illegal. It is just a cartoon, I guess. This is what I'm saying. Yeah, So, but it, you're, uh, you were jacking off to something that was wrong, morally One wrong. One time. One time. I, oh, I murdered times, one person. Whatever. It sticks with you forever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sticks with you forever. Hope Guys, so. you really have missed uh, some great apps on the Patreon lately. Yeah, Jeff I do want to say we've been having, there's a little bit of controversy. We're not going to talk about it on the regular episode, but there's been some real good stuff on the Patreon. We can't reveal it for two or three episodes, folks. So if you want to, some of the best stuff we've done, I think, on the Patreon, I think you should join it. The last couple have been. Real fire. We can't we're, talk about it publicly we're t- we're yet. We're talking shit in ways that we're not proud of in some ways, but we're proud I'm of it. I'm proud ways. of it. We can't talk about it anymore, but I think you should join the Patreon, folks. Please what, do. What do they get if they join the Patreon, Drago? $3. Get you an extra episode. $5. Audio an extra. Only. It will audio. I was going to say. I was going to get to it. I doubt I it. I know. Also, if you're watching video, yes, we are kind of matching. We are both in champion hoodies that are different kinds of green. I'm not wearing a hoodie. Mine's a sweater. I'm a little different. Champions in. It was you, the by the way, you don't know when you don't, I was a kid. You say different terribly. Different? Ooh. I'm different. Anybody hear that? That's stunk. God, accents are cool. It's different? good to talk a little bit. Different. Who the fuck says different? Different. Roof, hood, whatever. Different. Cupboard. Yeah. Nobody Baggle. has nobody called you on different? No. Brutal. You're from like a sub like a you you don't have any accents boring. Chicago well, a little bit. You don't have any Chicago drawl at all. A li- sometimes. You're, when? When would you ever have it? I don't know. I've heard you talk for t- almost, o- this is over 100 episodes now. Never I, heard I you. I noticed like when I went to Boston that I was like, I say mom a little differently. Like people like East Coast would be like mom a little bit. And you go what? Mom. Mom. Yeah. You got a mom aunt, in you. not aunt. Uh, aunt, not but, aunt. Wow, you're but so cultural. no one fucking says Different? Different. Ooh. Everyone said, whatever. Everyone? Don't shame me. Not everyone, but a lot of people do. Well, guys, another L for God, Jeff. I'm getting hate on the pod. I'm getting a lot of hate online er, recently. An early L. What's going on a online? A lot of terror. A lot of death threats from Zionists on Instagram. <laughs> what? a lot. Yeah. You want to know one? I got one that I thought was very funny. This guy, this guy sent me a couple days ago. He's like, you're the type of lib you'd let Hamas rape your daughter so you wouldn't look Islamophobic. <laughs> Whoa. Kind of a funny, kind of a funny message, but an interesting one. Jesus. Yeah, really. He just sent it to me and then he was like, he he got mad when I got mad. I was like, come on, buddy. People gonna, are people gonna, are having gone pretty hard lately. People go after people hate me. I don't know what it is. Ooh. Something about me is they don't think a guy like me who looks like me should have opinions. It couldn't be the, I, the arrogance. Couldn't I think they, the they think I should hate myself. I think that's what it is. Huh. They're like, he's a six, but he thinks he's an eight. I think that kind of gets people. It's part of your act. It's part of my act. Yeah, it's arrogant. They, yeah, don't, I hate myself, people. This is all an act. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you, you, you're not really too self-deprecating in person. Uh, yeah, but you're not in my mind. You couldn't fucking handle my mind. <laughs> Dude, Jeff's so fucked. You guys, Jeff's so fucking you different. You couldn't handle the fucking he's so, Brooklyn he's Zoo so in there. fucking unique. Jesus Christ. He's got a lot of fucked up thoughts. I have fucked up <laughs> thoughts. Yeah, I don't watch hentai, but I have a lot of fucked up thoughts. Yeah, Jeff. Never once have I gotten hard to some Japanese jugs, but here you are. Uh, here I, you I, are. I've gone on to, I've done Japanese IRL before. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, good for you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you, you type that in Japanese <laughs> IRL. Japanese live. Give me the real flesh Asian women. Yeah, yeah good uh, for you. Yeah, so that's good. I mean, yeah, so it's not all white women up here. Maybe I'll get into porn. Maybe. 
No, you don't have what it takes. It's I just, really interesting. I, yeah, I've been trying to do a joke where I'm like, I can just direct my own porn in my mind. Right now, I'll, I'll close my eyes. Oh, I, I think I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll direct a porn. It's called Thanksgiving afternoon. All the relatives are asleep, and the cousin I'm not blood related to sucks the gravy out of me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty good one. It is. A, I I remember it seeing that and thinking it was a little a little uh, a little much for you. A little much. A little much for you. Yeah. It, yeah. It has. It has. Crushed a couple times, but yeah, it's ruined a couple shows. I mostly sure. date blondes because then then as brunettes remind me of my family. It's very odd. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a little too close to home. Yeah, I mean, I don't actually think my cousin's attractive. I'm just joking. You, my my no. relatives are fairly hideous, actually. Yeah. No offense to any of you who listen. I'm not attracted to you. I just love your beautiful souls. So your so your genes, even going way back or out, are not great. Uh, my dad's good looking. Your dad is kind of handsome. Yeah, my my grandpa was hot. My grandma was good looking. Okay, but that's about where it ends. Okay, they're gone. The good genes are gone. And and, and you're not gonna have kids anytime soon. So. I will never have children. It's wrong. Yeah. Yeah, and you won't because you lack uh, commitment and empathy. Well, yeah, it, it does take two to tango. In it this is world. crazy. I could have kids if I want to. I choose not to. You just no one wants to be with you for more than two days yeah i've got that premise that i've been toying with from I'm like if i i am certain of this if i do have a kid it will be a surprise you know <laughs> you be... will you will date a girl who you didn't quite know she was pro-life and yeah and you gotta yeah. keep the kid you <laughs> yeah. went a little too georgia one time yes yeah, yeah a little too yeah a little too down you, south you thought she was yeah it's, oh the you... southern charm only goes so far yeah the sometimes. southern charm's over when she's like we're keeping it yeah uh, not so charming <laughs> not after so while. charming yeah. would you insist on an abortion uh, I think so. Really? But that's why you got to be. That's what if why, she was against it? What would you do? That's, but that's what I'm saying. That's why you got to be, you know, in you, you get in your late twenties there. You got to be better about this stuff. What do you, what do you mean? This stuff? Deep thought there. Uh, like you got to be better about this stuff. Wearing condoms, Deep thinker. wearing condoms often. Oh, I thought you meant like having conversations. That's not what you're talking about. At no, all. you just kind of, <laughs> just kind you're of, not talking about getting closer to a person, like getting to know them. No, just kind of protect yourself. <laughs> just kind of wrapping up. Do you know why does wearing two people always say if you wear two, it's actually worse. What? That's like a thing where like if actually you put on two it like the friction it actually is worse than one. The friction? Yeah, is this a thing cough on? Yeah, like the friction will make them break. Yeah, yeah, like the the <laughs> condoms like you would think putting on two would be better but it's worse. Yeah. Oh. Huh. No, but I've I did... only worn a condom like 5 times in my life. Yeah, I'm... I think my cum is just like where do I go? <laughs> I wore a condom over think... the, over the weekend. It was like it just was not my my style, Damn. dude. I just but, but you're but you're I don't know. Yeah, it's oh, got to be. Oh, poor thing. It's all about, yeah. What, oh, do you wanna, he's having random sex and he has to wear a condom. Oh, my God. Pour was, out a jug of cum for the kid, folks. Come on. You know what's interesting is that she was like, I'm glad you wore a condom. She didn't even tell you to. Right, but it's like, why, why did didn't you? Why did you do it then? Because. You couldn't even but bear no, to no, ask no, her? But, no, but here's the thing. Why wouldn't she have Why wouldn't she have said something? Why wouldn't though? you just ask? You're not even. You're about to have sex. You're not brave enough to even ask if I have to wear a condom or not? I'm wearing one, first off. Oh. 31. I'm oh. wearing one. But it's like... Oh, okay. But I don't want the... But it's weird that she was like, I'm glad you did. But, but then I'm like, why wouldn't you have said something then? Wow. Well, yeah, that's weird. I hope he p makes the right call. Right. Yeah. I hope he hope well, he doesn't ruin both our lives tonight. Yeah. Why yeah. is she like? Uh, I guess. I guess. Well, however, he seems he wants, like a good decision maker. Yeah. Like however yeah. he wants to roll. I guess. Like yeah. it's weird that she put it on me. He had a tiny cupboard spot tonight. He's, he's a legend. He's 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 gonna be famous. Yeah. <laughs> what did you send in the chat? You got a, a Venmo for six dollars. Oh, it was like twelve or something. Oh, I think it was six. But, yeah. but honestly, do the shows there have been six? I'm not saying they're not, but that's funny. Then you get I've been paid for like a show five dollars. It's like. Don't pay me. I was gonna say, yeah. Worse. I'd rather like if they can, you know, uh, until until maybe they, roll it over to the next spot. Man, yeah. I want a Venmo over ten. I, I would rather get twenty every other than yeah, than, like than ten. 10. Every it's spot. just it feels gross. Yeah, it's, just, um, it's it feels it feels dirty. But yeah, man, I uh, I don't so you know. Had do, do you had sex you... over the weekend? Yes, yeah, did that. Good for you. I've got a pet that Australian peeve. girl. No, this is someone else. A new one. A new. What's? Let me give you a little backstory on her. 
One of these is going to be your wife, so we got to learn about all of them. No, I don't want to get into it too much. Uh, I don't want to get into not? it. Why not? You don't have to say her fucking name and social security number. Why are you like this? You're, she, this, you're like, I nutted in a girl. I don't want to go any further, I though. definitely didn't. But you just also, talked about Fons, having Have you ever done this, her? pulling out with the condom? Just just, just to double just to double your, your so odds? You're so afraid. That's... Yeah, you're afraid of that girl if you do that. <laughs> yeah, that, oh. that's a lack of trust. Oh, my God. That's a lack of I trust. I do that with everyone. You, why do you even wear the condom, then? What's the point? If you're going to dance with the devil, <laughs> hold his hand. Come on. No, pull, <laughs> what are you doing? Because I'm trying to do, I'm trying to do the right thing, man. I'm trying to I'm trying to be a good guy. I you already put on the condom. You don't have to do both. So you'd rather, you so if you wear a condom, you'll you'll just stay in there. I mean, for I a haven't bit. worn a condom in 4 years, but yeah. Spons, if you wear a condom, are you staying in for a little? That's the whole point of the That's condom. That's the whole point. That's the one good thing of a condom is like no worries. If you're going to put Hakuna on Matata a condom nuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It means Hakuna no worries. Matata no worries. Nuts. <laughs> it means no worries. There's a comic named oh, JB. Hana. I was I was like literally i literally was god this is i'm sorry for our, for our listeners yeah. i was literally like milking myself out into the uh, into the con just like watching it just so i knew exactly where it was going yeah i don't want to get too into it a minute later i was milking <laughs> my penis into the condom don't want to get too I graphic pulled out. i pulled out wouldn't want to ruin this poor woman's life so i was milking myself <laughs> like a common farm cow that's how you pull out dude Wait, so when you i don't really out, know what you mean yeah. did you take the condom off no 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 no. yeah that's insane a little bit but you were jacking off with the condom after well i could feel my, oh my god this is so graphic now i yeah, could feel myself i could feel myself i was like oh about to bust and then like how i normally would pull out where you where you shoot on the girl's stomach Oh, I've never I just, done that I in my just, life. I just shop it into the condom. I find same, the, same, same reflexes, just different ball game. I find the stomach come wrong. <laughs> I am, the, I, am I crazy about that? Why I, would I, you I, keep it on? <laughs> why would you keep it on? What do you think would happen? Should I have, should I have taken it off? No, because then I'm already going. I'm Did already she going. watch you? She's like, what are you She's what are like, you, Is he you trying okay to there? jack himself off? <laughs> This is what I do when I'm not with you. What are you? What is? I this? was. I just. Yeah. I just fucking. Mm. I just. I'm just trying to. I like to know where it's at. I like to know where the stuff is. You're at. not rich enough where women are like, let's scoop a little bit of that up and put it back in. Uh, us. Yeah. You're not yeah, fucking I'm Drake not, not where Drake. they're turning the condom inside out right. and fishing it out of the toilet. Well, I gotta yeah. put hot sauce in my condom. Yeah. I think you're gonna be fine. I know. I'm just well, saying. It's like I heard he makes 35k at his logistics shop. <laughs> <laughs> let's fucking definitely make more than that. I now. know. That's, that's why. I got undersold. promoted in May. I want to say thanks That's to why. the company. Oh, come on. You're such a suck up. Good people. You're such a corporate drone. Oh, my God. Um, anyways, <laughs> okay, get into she's it. from the South, too. So, so that's, that's, that, that's, okay, that's why you got to pull Southern out. gal, you put on a rubber. You don't know. Exactly. She's from an old family. They come from money. They might not want an open mic kid. Yeah. They might not want a kid from They don't want yet. a tiny cupboard legend. In a year, though, when you're headlining, they might they might want it. Um, they might, yes. She might want it. Take the condom off. Oh. When you're headlining the Dallas Comedy Club next year, take it off. When I'm big? I got 45 now, babe. Let's have a kid. Can't wait. Yeah, it could be good. Um, so, no, you won't tell anything else about this woman except that you milked yourself by her side. We can't learn anything. She's from the South. She lives in New York now. That's all I really want to her? Get what's into. her personality? What's interesting about her? Uh, she's what? she's kind of quirky. She's fun. What's, um, what's quirky to you? I feel like quirky to you is like, mm -mm. She's, some, she's into astrology. Sometimes has like some funny sayings for thing, things. She but has I, but funny I guess, sayings. But I sometimes. guess that is that is a Southern thing in a way. Um, she she's I guess she does have a little bit of the old school vibe. Hmm. Is that do you know what, what I mean? That by mean? That? Was that mean like a little states' rights vibe, or I what wonder, are you I, talking about I, here? I, oh, do you know, do you know actually? Uh, did what she said was interesting about like how people like on the East Coast, they have like they they have a culture in, in the South. There is no like no one in the South would be like I'm Italian. They're Southern. Yeah, yeah, yeah no one yeah. no one in the South is like oh like, I'm Irish. Everyone is just white down there. Once you decide that your skin color makes you own people, you kind of give up the Italian thing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you're kind of like ah, you want to be a slave owner or be Italian? It's kind of yeah. like you kind of they kind of picked a while ago. Yeah, it's it, and I thought that was an interesting. They care yeah. more about religion in the South. Being Catholic is still kind of a faux pas. Is that Irish then? 
Well, not all. There's Italian, Italian Catholics, Catholics are huge. Spanish Catholics. Is there yeah. Catholic Southern Catholics in? There are, but it's definitely the minority. At what, shows in the Baptists? South, they're all Baptists or like a Presbyterian or Methodist. What's the difference between Baptist and Presbyterian? I have no idea. They all go to hell, in my opinion. So I don't really care. Aren't you a seven year religion? I didn't major? learn about that. I don't care about that shit. You know more about Islam than you do about. Catholic, uh, there's Christianity? way more Islam. It, there's way more Muslims in the world than Methodists. I don't give a shit about the Meth. All that bickering. You you really do like a specific kind of woman, dude. That's it. That's I why like he studied Islam so much because those are the women that he likes, bro. I've had. I think I've slept with. Oh two my! Muslims he literally. In my life. You're anti-white, bro. I am not. I like Catholicism. This is this is his whole Palestine thing. This is oh, it, it. All comes back. It all God. comes back to the pussy. Dude. Jews aren't white either. Holy shit, dude! <laughs> I'm really I'm really making some fucking really Makes good no, points no, out you're here. Not. This is where you you align politically with the with the pussy. You know that, you that like. most Catholics in the world aren't white, right? Who cares, dude? Even most Catholics are Hispanic or black in Africa, yeah. But this that's is blowing no, your mind right now. Uh, like yeah, yeah, my my brain just kind of uh, you didn't. You're like are you Christians in Africa. Yeah, that part of my growing. brain just defrosted. Yeah, you didn't even <laughs> you didn't even comprehend that most of Africa is Christian. Yeah. I believe that the lower half at least. I do lower. believe it though. You believe it? I'll believe that. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude. it's true. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you ever see like uh, in a movie, like when a like a sports movie, a coach goes to like a he recruit goes to a kid's house to recruit him, like at a, like a football team, and the mom's like, "This is a Christian house. They're black." Yeah, I yeah, of it. course. Yeah, you want to find homophobia? Go to Uganda. Those Catholics, <laughs> they figured it out. They figured out the homophobia. Okay. There. You see those? You ever seen that video of the Nigerian like newscaster? He's like. Why are you gay? <laughs> it's one of the funny. He's just interviewing like a gay activist. He just keeps going. But why are you gay? <laughs> yeah. It's one of the funniest things on the internet. I would urge everyone to Google it. It's very funny. Yeah. There's different strokes for different folks everywhere. Okay. Yeah. All right. So yeah. maybe you're maybe. I don't care about like why do Method <laughs> Methodists are like, well, Jesus's body is actually only. The, the Eucharist is only the body in well, March. Well, why don't we fucking whatever? learn on this pod about something you don't know? Can you, you know what? I pod, would like you look to, this up? I would like to learn difference that. Difference between Bathi Baptist and Me Methodist? Okay. I, I don't really know. I think Baptist is more like the speaking in tongues and stuff. I don't know what the Methodist is exactly. It, it, wait, are, the, are those the two big ones, by the way? Just I think so Baptist, sure. Methodist, and Presbyterian okay. are the big three, right. and evangelical, right, and evangelical too. Let's, let's. I'll let you read it and figure. Okay, it out. what is the, this? Is a lot this. of fucking. Is it, we're can, gonna have to read this. Can we? Can we get like? I'm a, willing to. I'm willing to research this and next time talk wait, about. Um, just look at the top blurb. Let me uh, see. If you, a uh, lot of but have different views and doctrines. Blah 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 blah. They both believe baptism. Oh, uh, really communion see is the welcome to all perform. Oh, okay. The Methodists, they baptize babies. The Baptists wait, which is actually a little confusing. The Baptists wait till you get older to baptize someone. They're like, you got to choose to be part of this faith. Is that the, the big Methodists diff? are like anyone. We can just be like, you're Methodist when you're a baby and can't speak, which is insane. But uh, Methodists have bishops. They have like different organizations, I'm sure. Is that the it, big difference, you think? They're all like little dumb quips. Like Lutherans and Catholics aren't really that different. It's wasn't that yeah. It's the, not that it's pretty much the same. What did Martin shit. Luther do again that made him? He was basically like, I don't like the Pope controlling everything, which was good a good call. Kind of a in cool bro. He was basically like priests can fuck and Lutherans are more into like doing works of service than Catholics are in gen in theory. Okay. They're more like you should be a good person than just do the prayer and read the book. Oh. They're more like actions instead of like praying and reading. One thing I did think that was cool about my church was that like they preferred that like you dressed a little nicer when you got there. People who are like wearing shorts in church, oh, I don't have time for that. Oh, that's so stupid. I think God so doesn't lame. give a shit if you dress nice. Oh, come Jesus on. Jesus was in fucking rags, you Dude, loser. Dude, come in with a, a, like a nice little button up oh, on. Oh, and I bet you like when the priests have Learjets too. What's yeah. a Learjet? It's like a private plane. 
when they oh. all the southern priests have like tons of money they give them so much i do money. think if you go to church throw on like a college there's shirt. a great instagram account called preachers and sneakers where they take pictures of like the famous southern pastors and then they show how much their shoes cost and stuff they're uh, like wearing like five thousand dollar balenciagas or whatever oh, yeah it's kind of fun it's a pretty funny account okay yeah I mean, you're you're laughing you we can't to, stop laughing about it we had <laughs> to do uh we had to do uh, uh what's it called priest preacher i don't know what word service you're searching for. what Bef- volunteering no Is that we, the word we had to do service for? like uh we do mass before every game at notre dame Oh really? We had a, we had, yeah, well, we had a, Catholic. It was mass. Yeah, it's called we, mass. We had yeah. mass like every every game, like every, every, every day. You had a full mass. We had a twenty minute mass. Oh, a twenty minute. That's a, that's a third as long. But yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's, it was. I uh, like Catholic mass. Get the it's little got cracker little, at the end. A little wafer. You get a little wafer. Some of the music can be pretty good. They got the Catholics have like four or five bangers. But it's cool. Like uh, Father on Eagles Wings. I'll I'll like that song till I die. Great Father too. Jerry would try to like incorporate like a little bit of uh because he would travel with. Oh, us. they always try to do a sports metaphor. He would They're try like to do following something. Jesus is a real slam dunk, guys. <laughs> if you want to really hit it from behind the line, maybe believe in the Virgin Mary. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's yeah, it, what they're it, always it was kind the of the priests intense. are always doing that at mass because it's on Sunday. They're like, if you're watching the Vikings after the game, remember. The greatest touchdown is uh, playing a Hail Mary every night before bed. Oh, They yeah. always would try to be cool, and everyone's just, we want to just watch the game, dude. Yeah. Because mass would end right when the game started. Everyone's rushing out. Yeah. People would get pissed. I would get pissed every time. I miss the opening so, kickoff every week. Were you guys, was it, uh, was mass an hour long? It's about, it's hypothetically 55 minutes, but they always dragged it on with a song at the end. My mom may have stayed, and then we had to, do this thing where you'd eat donuts and mingle with the faithful afterwards for like 20 minutes. I was yeah. always so fucking mad. Yeah. I was so mad. At, chur- at my church growing I'm up. I'm missing Randy Moss, a once in a generation talent to talk to fucking Father Tom afterwards. <laughs> oh, bless our family, Father. Oh, fuck you. Serbian God. church would be like 90 minutes to two hours. Oh, really? Ooh, yikes. So, but, yeah, but that's why it started earlier. So you because was, of the game, so you could wake up for game. Yeah, so it game started time. at ten. It would start at like nine. Oh yeah. shit! So oh. we'd get there by nine. I like that. Be Good. Out, be out by ten thirty, what's, eleven. Is, what's more important, the game or God? Game. Uh, the game. You weren't even a football fan. Yeah. Uh. Actually, like when I was like growing up, like elementary school, middle school, that it was just. It you was gave just, your life to ball, so you can't really watch other sports. No, You're it was fun to basketball. watch. It was fun to watch football. Yeah, I know, but you just don't have the passion. Football for it. meant like church was over. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like it yeah. was kind of an amazing football rocks. I don't care what CTE they get. Ooh. I don't care. I'm trying to write a joke where like I I don't care if NFL players get concussion injuries because like they made a lot of money, but Division three players get them too. There's like a drooling Walmart greeter like <laughs> I was a fullback at North Texas, <laughs> <Whatever>. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like some small school. That does like suck. they they don't even get a scholarship and they're getting brain damage. Right, they're paying to lose their memories. There shouldn't be D three football. No, you shouldn't be. Yeah, you shouldn't be like. <laughs> you're missing class to get brain damage. D3 it's football insane. is also like a punching bag now, like online. Like when people say like, it's like, it's kind of like a loser thing. If, if, if you say, if you brag about being a D3. Do athlete. you look down on D3 basketball players? Do you um, consider them athletes? I don't no, I don't look down. No, because, because football, football again, like you're damaging your life. But you do. If a guy's like, oh, I played D3. Are you like, you suck. They're, Are you like you're a scrub? Every guy that I've met that played D three is always very quick to be like, not D one. Like I'm, I'm not saying I. You well, know. sure, because you, they're looking at a god. Yeah, right, but they're not it. like, yeah, they're not like trying to. They're not trying to stunt. No. I bet they do on dates though. I bet they that's do. What I think that's why where I've seen it. Yeah, where a guy, yeah. a guy being like, I was a college athlete, like da da da, and you're, and they're like, okay, Prairie D3. State, really, buddy. Wow, yeah. Weber State. I guess they're D one. I remember being pretty cognizant of that. Like when I was, I was talking to when I was transferring. I was talking to like cognizant. Okay, St- new words every week. I like St. Louis was recruiting me, and they were a really good team. You almost went to the Billikens. Yeah, but I remember being like, wow. I don't think people will like. I remember telling a friend that I was that I was like in St. Louis, and they're like, "Is that D one?" And I was like, P 
people don't know that St. Louis is D1. Like, that's fucking crazy. I feel like I, I was a kid. I tried to memorize all the D1 schools in middle school. <laughs> Me and my friend tried to memorize the mascot of every D1 school. Wow. We were obsessed with March Madness. It was my favorite thing. Dude, for, March like, Madness was unbelievable. We, I would print off, like, 50 brackets and come to school and hand them out to everyone. Like, give me the cash for the pool. And I was carrying oh. around a wad of money all day. So you, I was like the bookie every year. So you, There was a big controversy one year. Everyone thought I cheated. I did not. I want everyone to know Hill Murray class of 2008. I won fair and square. You won it? I won the whole pool. Glenn Big Baby Davis. I put all on LSU. And they made the final four and no one else picked him. Oh. Uh, that fat fuck. He had no athletic bone in his body. But Dude, and he could had, move uh, in the paint. They had Tyus, Ty, Tyrus Thomas. Did they? I just remember that fat motherfucker. He didn't even make the NBA, I don't think. Yeah, he, but did. he played in the NBA for like 10 years. Did he? Was he good? He could yeah. He could barely run down the court. Did you not watch the NBA for 10 years? He was no, I don't. Celtics I only watched the, the college basketball. I almost never watched the NBA. Clippers? College basketball was so, is so much better than the NBA. This is a bad take. This is such a bad take. You don't think it is? College the, ball, March guys, Madness is the greatest tournament. Besides March, the World Cup. I think March Madness is as good as anything, but like yeah. but dude, like just to watch guys like miss basically just miss shots. Like the the, the, the level of play in the NBA is or yeah, is that so doesn't bad. yeah, okay. It might be better. And it's yeah. not it's better now too. Like, the NBA is better than it was ten years ago. For oh sure. my god, yeah, dude. Yeah. It's it's an incredible I'm getting into the NBA. Me and Bobby Knight are also we have to pour one out for Bobby Knight. We can't call my girl Bobby Knight anymore. We got oh. a RIP to the great one, who's your legend, Bobby Knight. Ooh. I can't keep referring to my girlfriend as a dead man. That'll Why? that'll ruin my boners. <laughs> I can't imagine I'm fucking a corpse. I'm trying to think. We of gotta it. think of a new. She's maybe from she Indiana. could be Oladipo. <laughs> Isn't that Victor Oladipo? He was a legend. Who's your legend? No, but what, Reggie Miller. Call her Reggie Miller. Reggie. Reggie. Pacer legend. Yeah. <laughs> Pacer. Yeah. I'm dating Reggie Miller now. Call it. Not Chris Mullen. Chris Mullen. He <laughs> an alcoholic legend. Yeah. Have you heard about him? He was like he a was secret a, alcoholic. He was a dog. He, that's kind of cool. Actually, yeah, Mark Chris Jackson. Mullen. I don't know much about him. He was, he was a, a point, point guard. guard. Yeah, I know that. Chris Mullen, secret alcoholic, just like you, babe. I love when you come stumbling home after a night of fun. See Mullen. Kidding. She doesn't drink too yeah. much. Yeah. How's Mullen? Uh, God, I can't I can't believe I can't call her Bobby Knight. You can't call her Bobby Knight. We gotta move on. There's different eras in life. You gotta Maybe move Reggie. On. I think Reggie's funny. I right? like no, I like Mullen. I like the dog in him. Well, I think Chris Mullen was better than Reggie. How is Miller. she liking New York in the last year? She's, she taking? she's getting into it. She we got a new obviously got a new apartment. Yeah, you guys much better. It was it was kind of dicey before. You guys are living now. We had yeah, we don't have like to. She, I would I, I probably don't have to leave the bedroom when she has to work anymore. If, That's pretty nice. If I moved into your place, I probably would cry for a week straight, just being with how, how happy I'd be. What? Just to live alone. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought you meant to move in with us. I'm like, the offer is not on the table. <laughs> oh that is no. Not a, I was like, under yeah, no, we're not, we're not, we don't even have a couch yet. No, under no circumstances. But Man, like, man, if but we lived saying, together, that would be. I would never do the dishes. <laughs> I would never clean up after you. I bet you're a pig. I'm well, so clean, bro. I yeah, uh, yeah. Your anal retentive anxiety probably helps you. Yeah. I hate when stuff is like lying around. Yeah. Okay. I hate that I'm shit. pretty messy. I'm pretty messy. Why? I don't know. No I'm... self-respect, folks. Uh, I, I I'll clean up like big once a week, but nitpicky things. Yeah, I leave shit out. I don't care. Big once a week. I don't think so. Uh, that's what guys, that's days. what messy motherfuckers say, bro. They go, oh yeah, I clean once deep a week. Deep clean, deep clean. Dude, I clean once a week. I get everything. No, you don't. You know what? I'll, I'll sweep every once in a while. That's my big thing. I sweep. Yeah. Oh my god, what a. Buzz. I let the I let Bob. I know not Bob Reg. I let Chris Mullen do it. You know, I throw her a couple ten or every now and then. Uh, nice work, babe. <laughs> toss her a couple yeah, a couple bucks. Toss her a couple bucks. I'm trying to think if there's a throw better. Throw it in the butt a little bit. If there's a better yeah. Indiana great. I think Chris Mullen's the one. that's just gonna take a look. Bobby Knight was the legend. I mean, there's got to oh, be a Larry funny Bird. One. Yo, Larry Bird. Oh, Larry. Never mind. Mullen, you had a few minutes. It's Larry Bird for sure. Larry Bird. Sycamore good. legend. We love him. Yeah. So, so Larry Bird's enjoying Larry it. Larry Bird. That's the one. Is Larry, is he actually a top five player all time? I think so. Really? Well, top 10. Yeah. Top 10. I think top 10. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's, I mean, he changed the game. He was. His trash kind of, talking is amazing too. He all really, those videos he really of him made, just, made, and he made shots. Like he was, he was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we love him. White hero. A white hero for sure. I have a pet peeve. If he went white over. supremacist, I think he could start a big movement. 
Huh? I bet Larry Bird could get a, a oh. strong following on the white power movement. Jeff, I hate to cut you off on white power, but we, <laughs> we do need God. to do a quick a quick. The ad. first time Alex doesn't want to talk about and it. And here's a quick word from our sponsors. Whoa, nothing I love more than a beatbox beverage, I'm, folks. I'm gonna edit that part out. Why not? Okay. Why can't? Why are you gonna edit that out? I like it. I, well, in the we'll, morning, we'll do the ad read after, Fonz. All day. Okay. Beatbox. The Your Idiot Podcast is brought to you by Beatbox Beverage, the 11.1% ABV party punch with nine nostalgic flavors, non-carbonated, so it's zero bloating, low sugar, low calories, and it's 100% resealable. Drink and save for later. It's eco-friendly, and they're launching two new flavors, hard tea and green apple. They're a Shark Tank brand with Mark Cuban as an investor. Make sure to find a store near you at beatboxbeverage.com. And check out their socials on Instagram and TikTok, Beatbox Beverages. I love Beatbox. Let's do a little start with a listener question. And we're back. From a, a, we're doing a listener question. And we're back. We're doing a listener question Seamless. from Kylie Kick. How do you guys feel about astrology and what are your signs? What are your big three? I'm a Sagittarius. Jeff, what are you? I think astrology is one of the most RJ adjacent topics possible. Hey Fonz, look up uh what, what's your what's your sign? I, and I want to say for the people RJ Je- is Jeff, Jeff, who retard cares? juice. Who, uh <laughs> who cares? What's your sign? I am a Taurus. I have no look idea up, what look it up means. Look up Taurus traits. I think if you believe in astrology, I can't really oh, respect stubborn you. Stubborn and sensual. Okay. Stubborn. Yeah, go to me- that go, t- yeah, just click on that. Yeah. What's the I don't down. get what the sun and moon shit is. What is that? Taurus represented by the bull. I knew that. Go down. Uh, they enjoy, they enjoy soft sounds, bucolic environments. What do you think bucolic, Actually, bucolic go, means? Get out of him? allure. Let's go to the next one down. Fuck the <laughs> Too fuck big allure. of words go for down. him. He's moving on, folks. What was wrong with that one? That was good. I thought. Key characteristics. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Uh, three. Oh, go up. There we go. Um. Modal. See, they it, they have all these fucking words. The Taurus all right, modality go down. is yeah, go fixed. Down. What is that? Positive mean? traits. It's all bullshit. Taurus, Value, honesty, honesty above all. Don't else. shy away from hard work and amb- ambition, mental tenacity. Enjoy all things uh, luxurious and cozy. I don't you're think not, you're a, not like that. I don't think a single one of these apply. Work hard, play hard. All right, go to negative traits. I have traits. said that. Negative. <laughs> Very set in their ways. Absolutely. Aren't I'm f- not at all. Oh, I... Aren't fond of authority. Uh, hmm. Okay. I think I can think of a couple things there. Nothing I love more than a beatbox beverage, <laughs> folks. Uh, <laughs> can take their pleasure-seeking ways too far. Fucking mm. a pillow. Oh my god. I think a lot of people would think that's a little too far. Yeah, but these are all see the thing about Australia, it's all it's just generic so, statements that they fit can, everyone. They can be huge perfectionists. Everyone's a perfectionist sometimes. It's it's all bullshit. All right, let's it's look all at all let's, go to Sagittarius, please. Wait, what is the what is Sagitt what's that animal again? I don't even remember what a Sagittarius is. Oh, oh it's no. the centaur. It's the arrow centaur. That's you, Drago. Half horse, not the bottom. Adventure half, risk taker. Oh yeah. Not you at all. Oh uh, yeah. A risk taker. You won't even fucking eat falafel. <laughs> <laughs> You've never taken a risk I in like your fa- life. I like falafel. You would never get falafel falafel's, at a restaurant. Falafel's good, dude. You, what are you I've never about? seen you order anything that's not an American food. Yeah, this is that's all like what's like. There we a go. Moon? That's good. Yeah. Okay, the Sagittarius. Strengths. Generous, not idealistic, not g- great, great sense, sense of, of humor. humor. Oh, who's the funny one now? That doesn't mean bitch. you're funny. That just means you know what is funny. That's different. I know what's funny. Yeah, exactly. You're on a podcast with me. Different. But weaknesses, promises more than can deliver. A lot of women can attest to that. Very impatient. Uh, I don't know about that. We'll say anything, no matter how undiplomatic. I'd say you're one of the most diplomatic people uh, on earth. I can see, I can see both sides. Uh-huh. Sagittarius like, like freedom. Mm, I don't think. I don't think. Don't you take even, my guns. Yeah, travel. You've never left America. Uh, I, I I like to. I like. You've gone to Mexico. Now. Yeah. Philosophy. Name three philosophers. Nietzsche. Name one thing you believed in. Uh, Plato. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Name one thing about Plato. Socrates. Name one thing a philosopher believes in. Um, Just, didn't, what didn't Plato do? Like, didn't he draw like a triangle in the sand or something like that? <laughs> didn't he do something like that? I I don't know that much about Plato, but I've never heard. 
What would he? Why would he draw a triangle in the sand? No idea. <laughs> what would he? No idea. What would the lesson be he behind that? He drew something that? in the sand once. I remember the reading, line reading in that. the sand. That is like a Roman event. That's not Plato though. That was no. Different. It wasn't yeah. a line in the sand. He drew a triangle. Can you look up that, Fonz? Plato triangle in the sand. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. What was the? Uh, do you know? What I know. Do you know? What I re- do you know? What, uh, story I went over like two or three times. It, this was Plato's thing but it was uh plato triangle in sand what is plato what did plato say about triangles no 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 no, no that no. is a pythagorean allegory triangle well, yeah what was the cave thing it's again the allegory of the, the allegory of i've the read cave. that three times i still don't know what that i'll is. be honest i don't quite understand i'll the never understand the, the allegory of the cave it's basically that what we see is just a reflection of reality that's basically what he's saying it's like you're in a cave and you're just seeing the shadow of reality reflected from a fire on the wall hmm. he's basically saying the world isn't real and that Probably possibly after death we'll see the real world. That what we see now is but a shadow of reality. I don't Ooh. really quite understand it all that much, honestly. That's kind of cool. I don't know the triangle of the. Why would why wouldn't my fucking teacher just say that? Uh, I don't think I'm fully correct, but I th- if you if you tell me if I was right, listeners, I think I was fairly correct. I think the Plato al- yeah look up the allegory of the cave. This is actually what this is actually interesting. Okay. People who have lived chained to the wall of a cave their whole lives facing a black blank wall. Okay, yeah, this is what I'm into. Okay. Describes a group. People watch shadows projected on the wall from objects passing in front of them. The shadows are the prisoner's reality, but not accurate representations of the real world. Let's go. Uh, the shadows represent the fragment of reality that we can perceive through our senses while the objects of the sun represent the true form of objects. Okay. What's that mean? It, may, it means like basically that we can only perceive most, we can't perceive the world with our eyes. The truths are natural sciences, math, and geometry, three things you have scorned your entire life. Yeah. He says truth is in like knowledge and math and geometry. Yeah, I, I, I think truth can be Like in the math. golden ratio, how a lot of things in the world are in the same ratio all in nature. Really? Yeah, like a, you've never heard of the golden ratio? No, but it sounds... It's like, you know, when you look at a shell and it has that curve, all shells have like the same ratio as they go in. It's like a beauty thing. Whoa. There's like certain ratios that are attractive to the human eye. I don't remember exactly what the ratio is. Is that like nipple to boob? <laughs> it could be. Yeah, it could be. Like, y- y- yeah, you look at all these faces, like certain faces, the way they're... I don't quite understand how they calculate it. Yeah, like that is like the the Vitruvian Man, the the Leonardo Di, or Leonardo DiCaprio, Leonardo da Vinci painting. It's one point six one. It's in the Da Vinci Code. It's like a big part of the Da Vinci Code. Mm. Yeah, That's man, you cool. really don't know anything. Uh, I love no. it. Yeah, I love that about I, you. I'm seeing a band with Tommy next week, though. <laughs> What does that have to do with anything? I like to see bands, dude. I agree. Music is great. That does, and music is often based on ratios as well. A lot of music is based on that. Music. Who are you mapping? seeing? Nathaniel like Radcliffe. Oh, Nathaniel Radcliffe. Wow. Tommy's invite to me must have got lost in the mail. I don't think you're gonna be there yet. Oh. Oh, where is it? Chicago? No, it's in L.A. But you're not. Go- you're not oh, you're not- I won't be there. Damn. I'm like, cause I'm doing that layover. Oh, for damn. Days. Nathaniel Ratliff's good. That's gonna be a good show. Yeah. That'll be I'm a not good much show. into the like. What is it like? Southern knee. It's a like country. Yeah, yeah, maybe it's like Southern country folk, but yeah, not really. Folk that's country. Not- is usually a miss me with he's that. He's rocky though. He's pretty rocky. But I like a good time. Uh, Southern rock's some of the best music of all time. Skinner, Almond Brothers, The Sheepdog. This guy I is not Skinner. No, he's not at all. It's totally different. No, it's totally different. Yeah. This, he's also not the Almond Brothers. The Almond Brothers, absolutely. Shred. Go. Shred. Kings. I want to see Government Meal real bad. That's like their side project. That would be good. Oh, uh, okay. Let's go. If they, if they play MSG, we going? Yeah, I don't know if they're that big. Yeah, they probably would play MSG. I would go. I'd, someone in the someone in the Patreon said you need to listen to more twenty minute guitar solos. They said it would make you a calmer person. I couldn't agree more. That that there's a that band Goose has a twenty minute Goose is really good. Yeah. Jam that is really really good. They, have, they, they do they them have, all the time. They have a twenty minute extension of twenty twenty one by Vampire Weekend, and it's a twenty oh. twenty minutes. Yeah, they're amazing. A, a good instrumental. You hate to say it's more powerful than words, Alex. Yeah, I hate to say it. A good. I'm I'm more of a uh, what's it called? A uh, I damn love when it. you search for words. What's what's it called when it's uh, it's <laughs> well, not lyrics, but it's uh, arrangement. I'm more of an arrangement guy. Instrumental. Yeah, yeah. Like in music. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay. And did you? Wow. That's you just said what I said. Yeah. <laughs> I said I'm more of a, I'm more of an arrangement guy than lyrics. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I agree with you. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Well, you so, couldn't say you agreed with me though, so you had to act like it was a different point. Let's. I add, like that. Let's about add you. to this. What, uh, did you did, did you say on the Patreon that you got a free guitar and an amp? Oh yeah, dude. Drago I, got two I, free guitars yo, from a patron. Sean, I got. I don't know if you want me to say your full name, so let's keep it the Sean. Sean, thank you for the two guitars. He sent me an acoustic and he sent me an electric, and they are fucking. Are you so playing? I uh, we I uh, played with uh, Matt and uh, Nick. Wow, until like three, another invitation until like lost in, in the three mail. in the morning wow. on Friday night. Yeah, Damn, oh, I was gone. Thank God. Yeah, dude, we were fucking having. That a great would be time. fun. I'd love to see you struggling over a twelve bar blues co- I'm, progression. I'm, I'm starting to get back in, uh-huh. in the swing of things. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah, um, but yeah, I really appreciate. Yeah, they're, it, Sean. they're nice guitars too. It's the greatest gift I've ever gotten. I've been friends with Jeff for eight years now. Yeah, I'm not giving you twelve hundred dollars in guitars. And Sorry. T- Sorry, wanted, I can't even get chicken. Your fingers on the road. Yeah, so. you're gonna get a buffet this weekend in Las Vegas. Oh, you're gonna get a buffet. Maybe not Caesar's Palace. Maybe Ooh. off the Strip, but Ooh. you're not gonna get the Bellagio. Maybe more of a Rio Old Vegas buffet. Okay, but yeah, it could be good. We'll do a different type of buffet. Uh, what would that we'll do be? Like an off the beaten path. Yeah, buffet. exactly. Yeah, maybe an old country buffet. Yeah, I go to a, I'd go to OBC. I cannot no. I will get a real casino buffet. Forty bucks. I'll put the cap at forty. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. I feel I'm feeling generous this weekend. Okay. I also think I'm gonna win a lot of money at the blackjack table. How our tickets? I haven't looked in a week. They did look grim a week ago, but I think they're coming back. It'll now. be okay, guys. We'll I think get they'll it be done. good. I'm gonna learn craps. I really want to learn craps this weekend and play. Okay. That's my goal. I've never really played it. Sounds fun. I'm willing to lose three hundred dollars. That's my cap. I want to piggyback off the music thing to another listener. Question, I want to though. completely change the topic. You is changed what Alex said. the topic. By the way, so, Fonz, am I off in the in the headphones? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, D Sled says, "What's your true guilty pleasure song?" Like, like he's, it's like something that like you're actually embarrassed that you really like. How do I sound good? Okay. Uh, well, you know me, I've never been embarrassed by a single thing I've liked in my life, but things that people would judge me for. I really like this German artist called Falco from the eighties. He has some absolute bangers. That's kind of cool. I like cheesy eighties synth pop, like rock me Amadeus, stuff like that. Amadeus. Final countdown. Final countdown. I like shit like that. I think hair metal is my guilty pleasure. I love hair metal. I really like Morgan Wallen. Oh, Sorry. That's, He's that's, good, he dude. As trash. He's got Utter a trash. He's got he a couple one, great Last tracks. Last Night is too. catchy. That's a catchy song. One uh, thing at a time. He, he's that shit is whiskey so, friends. So much drinking. I would yeah. Well yeah. Country has three themes. They're all the same. I'm like bad country. It's all the same three yeah. themes. Yeah. Uh and yeah. You like Morgan get, Wall? I'm like yeah. If someone like saw me playing that on my on my phone, I'd be like oh. Wrong song. I love 50 Cent. <laughs> I, I I used to be a Ooh. huge in like high school. I love 50 Cent. I think like, it was okay to like Ying 50 Yang. Cent I loved Ying Yang Twins. Brutal. Yeah. What's happening by Ying Yang Twins? I know every word to that song. <laughs> Trick Daddy's verse at the beginning. Let's just say I didn't used to edit it in middle school. Uh, that's I'm, all I'll say. I'm a little I embarrassed now. It. I think it did. I don't know how well they aged, but like I used to listen to a ton of Rage Against the Machine. Rage is something that I no longer think is cool. They're kind of lame. They're kind of lame. It sucks. All their songs have like eight words that they just repeat over and over again. In high school, you're like, this is the coolest. And then you listen to Killing in the Name of, and it's just the verses are literally the same line said 12 times in a row. Yeah, there's a couple great guitar parts, but the guitar is cool and annoying. Tom Morello kind of stinks. He just has 19 pedals and just clicks them over and over again. Right. All his guitar solos are just like wow, 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 wow. It's just like it is. It's yeah. just so over uh, the top effects pedals. It is. He, he Tom Morello is actually cool. The lead singer of Rage kind of stinks. Harvard Zach grad. Zach De La Rocha. He yeah. is a Harvard grad. Tom Morello. Yeah. Oh, really? I did not know that. Okay. He moved to LA and he started stripping to make money to stay to like stay out there. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I'm into that. Why um. Not? Yeah, Track, but yeah. Not really there's, a good-looking guy. There's also a couple like uh, 
kind of cheesy Taylor Swift songs I really like. Oh, Taylor Swift's first four albums are absolutely untouchable. I feel like there's a couple songs. Teardrops like, on my guitar, Tim McGraw, Enchanted, Ours, Mine. Uh, Enchanted was one of my guilty pleasures I wrote down. Enchanted is one of the greatest pop songs of the last 20 years. Huh. Taylor Swift's absolute trash now, and she should be executed in Times Square. You didn't like Folklore? She's absolute trash now. She's a fraud. That's kind of crazy. Folklore was the, good. The Travis Kelsey thing is so annoying. The Travis Kelsey How thing is How hard whack. the NFL is like pushing that to get people to watch it is just And they already have so many people watching. It's already Well, they're trying fun. to get like women to watch. So they'll be like, oh, look at this nice guy who doesn't beat his wife. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Not all players are like Ray Rice. Look at Travis Kelsey. Yeah, Come it is on. a little overdone. When they break up, it's going to be really tough. They barely, I don't even, I doubt they're even dating. It's all that shit's like Ooh. publicity. It's uh, most celebrities aren't really dating. They just do it for their careers. I wonder, yeah, uh, the way that she's dating like these massive celebrities in a uh, she a, does it a, in such a cynical way too. It's clearly just to make her more publicity. Yeah, it's so obvious. Getting back at your ex a little. She it's goes like, from look a how many bad, famous guys I can. Well, date. yeah, she goes from like a bad boy rock star who said some like racist things to like dating like the down home country boy like she's yeah. clearly trying to rehabilitate her image she might be going through it folks we don't I know think she's having a pretty good time i don't yeah i don't really feel too bad for her i'm not like oh pour one out pour out for tay tay i went Man. to i went to a Fucking taylor swift travis concert Kelsey. that'd be a lot <laughs> that would be a lot to fuck travis his Kelsey. ex-wife was an absolute stone cold fox ex-wife or was it his girlfriend i don't know if they were married ex-girlfriend actually. But his girlfriend, oh, she was a, I mean, I can't remember her name, but boy, it did it for me a couple times, I'll tell I, you. I, I bet, I bet she was I, really I looked hot. at that on the pillow a couple times, folks, I'll tell you that. That's what I do, Dragon. You want to know a little new thing I've added to it? Oh, we get the pillow ready. I prop my phone up there with a couple of pictures to look through while I'm doing it. Just just look at Just watch porn. Nah, I, I don't need that. I can make the images move in my mind, you know? I just want, I just look at the usually a butt sex photo. must be really great for you because if you're just doing if you're going from no porn to pill and pillows i don't have an sex, unrealistic image of sex yeah that's true yeah i know i i the only sex i know is eight pumps and out yeah i've never seen someone really lay it down yeah i've never I'd, i've never like i've always wanted to watch i would like to watch it in the flesh i'd like to watch sex in the flesh like you want to watch people do it? Yeah, that would be fun. I think that would be interesting. Why would that be fun? Like, so if I would like to watch a couple of my friends fuck, I think that would be interesting. Yeah, like who? Couple, I'm not gonna say a couple, a couple couples we know. Maybe I wouldn't mind watching it. Uh, what, what, what would you get out of it? It would be interesting. I'd like to see how the sausage is made. I want to see what they're like in those those intimate moments. Is it just to know? become like better, closer with them? Or I like. Just... I want to see if what I'm doing in bed is what the people close to me are doing in bed. I think you know? Well, you've described what you do, and we're all telling you that it's exactly. I want. I thought I want to learn a couple of tricks from the the heroes. You just gotta last a little longer. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think there's other things I could do. I'd like to see if the methods to the madness are similar. Okay. I'd like. To, I'd watch you have sex. I don't. I'd watch it. I think I would. Just you in the background. You going, and Squeeze. Oh. I would have watched you and Squeeze go at going, it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, there he is. I'd like to see what what comes out of your mouth during sex. That's my boy. I don't talk much during sex. And I think we that, all know this. I think that would be funny because I bet a couple words come out. No. I, you don't say anything. I. I if, bet you give her an. Oh God. Mm -mm. Nothing. If there's an instruction to be said, then yeah, I'll you'll give, give her an instruction. I'll give a little turn around. You want to do this? Turn okay, over. you're very robotic. A shock to many. Yeah, can I punch you? It's a whole. <laughs> <laughs> Have you done that? No, no. Oh, I thought you did once. No, no, not punch. You never dude. choked. Choke. Yeah, I throw sure. a choke every probably third time or so. Yeah. I've. Uh, I've Lord knows my hands. He's more of a gentle whisper. But... It took me a while to learn about the hair pulling. Mm, yeah, doggy. I don't like doing that. I feel like that's painful. Yeah, I don't know. I a couple of them They like love it. it. They do love it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess that's the thing. You never know how hard to. Yeah, to you never out. know with these gals. You never know. These yeah. women. Guys, hey, hey, hey uh, women, if you're on the Patreon, why don't you let us know how hard to pull your hair? Honestly, the Patreon's pretty even gender-wise. We got a lot of women on Patreon the Patreon. Patreon rocks. Thank you guys Patreon for subscribing. Patreon rocks. They stayed with us through the Israel-Palestine episode. And most of them, we actually have gained more patrons than ever. Some would say the gamble that Alex didn't want to take paid off. 
Alex before that episode said, nah, man, people don't want to hear that shit. Most watched episode by far. And that's why we're about to go into the Patreon in a second and get our shit talking on. Uh, we actually do have a couple of things we want to talk about in there. I want to talk about the British a little bit. I got a couple of things. I want. I have a couple Gaza updates I'd like to talk about. I've got a pet peeve that I, I want to get off my chest. Did you get in a fight with another local comic? No. Be like every <laughs> week he has a fight with a female comedian. They're always female folks. It's not Something true. To think about. Uh, uh, and then we'll also do worst childhood memory. A question from Van Jones. We'll go over. Oh, that. worst. Oh, he did best childhood memory. Yeah. Okay. I thought he did worst. No, but he did best last time. Oh, okay. Worst cool. This time. I yeah. think worst is funny. I have. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Yeah, I agree. And we'll go over that. And we're gonna slide over to the Patreon in a second. But thank you guys for listening to us now. We're in the hundreds now, folks. Hundred episode one oh one. One oh one. Eleven episodes and word free. Drago, what do we have to plug? Where I'll be at? with Jeff is, and uh, Austin and. Chicago. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Austin, Chicago. Are you not going to Phoenix? No. Oh, I booked someone else on those. That's right. Oh, I bet. Tim Smith's coming to Phoenix. That's right. That's fair. There we go. What, what, yeah. what dates? What dates? That's are the first weekend of December. I think you couldn't do it, or I was like, I don't want to be with you that much. I think I kind of was like, I need a break from Alex. I believe it, folks. Vegas and Cali are going to be enough. Yeah. I also got shows in Indianapolis, folks, Sacramento. And Grand Rapids, Cleveland, Ann Arbor, Minneapolis come out. Chicago, one of the three shows already sold out, and one is close. So Holy shit, that's We're awesome. probably going to add – we'll probably end up doing five shows, I bet. That's probably my hope. Shy City. Shy, Can't wait. Shy, I don't feel comfortable saying Shy City, but, yeah, yeah I don't know. You can, can you say that? I don't know. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he's taking off his headphones. My ears are hot. Oh, his ear. Oh, he's doing a podcast here. That's why he's a podcast. You know, the NBA folks. Okay, episode 101. Good night. Good luck. Thank you for listening. Bye.